you didn't mention that it's for a three hundred thousand dollar home. Why don't you go back? <coughs> uh, again, the, the benchmark and uh, the title heading there is uh, the impact uh, for for a three hundred thousand dollar home. That's the kind of the guide. So if you wanted to evaluate your particular property, you could amplify or reduce <coughs> uh, that impact number kind of pro rata. Next. Uh, one of the things that staff, and I believe the board is very proud of, is the management <coughs> of slow and steady increases, trying to avoid major fluctuations from year to year in uh, tax levy growth. And as I say that, you see a big spike and dip in that graph. Uh, and that was due to some relatively unusual situations from uh, an assessment reporting error back in 2010, I believe, which took a number of years to kind of process through. Um, by and large, the impact of that was not felt on tax bills, but from a strictly from a levy perspective, um, uh, that is the history of that trend. Again, very very flat and stable uh, trend lines is our, our objective. Um, also, a point of interest for the community and the village board is the current year's increase. Uh, go, go back to the previous slide. You, you didn't mention the 1.89 percent. I just want to make sure that that gets mentioned, which is a major impact of this slide. Um, as listed on the slide, the average impact there over the 10 year period it has been a managed tax rate growth of 1.89 percent per year. Um, again, getting into this year's proposed levy, um, the public hearing notice calls for a 1.5 percent levy increase in 2018. Uh, so actually the 2017 levy for the 2018 budget. Uh, the village only tax rate <coughs> is estimated to be $7.69 per thousand of assessed value and that's actually a small decrease from 2017 uh, due to the fact that the assessed values went up more than the proposed tax levy increase uh, being forwarded by this body this year. Um, the, um, the impact of that uh, by itself would imply that a, a $300,000 homeowner would pay about $51 less than 2017 taxes for the village. However, as I previously said, assessments went up. Uh, so uh, please don't tell all your neighbors that they're going to be saving money because uh, the owner of a $300,000 home last year, their home is likely worth somewhere around $312,000, $315,000 this year uh, if they were within that general average of the assessed <coughs> values. Uh, so taxes are anticipated to go up about 1.5% from the village portion. Of that, um, uh, 9672507 is funding operations and capital, or nearly 85% of the budget, and about 15% of the budget is supporting the village's debt service needs that um, facilitated all the various infrastructure improvements over the last 15 to 20 years. Next, please. Uh, some of the, uh, the budget highlights. Um, Proposed tax levy increase for non-debt is 0.89% overall this year. That's about $85,000. Uh, debt service levy is increasing at 5% per year. That's being managed as, uh, as we um, put together the 2018 budget. So we're managing that number. Again, there's been a lot of infrastructure improvements in uh, the Northwest, in the roads, uh, we're beginning the alleys and many of the police facility and, and many other initiatives over the 10 or 15 years, uh, most recent period. So 
Um, so we are trying to manage the impact of that on a year-to-year -year basis and limit that to 5%. Uh, and again, the overall, third bullet line there, the overall tax levy increase when you uh, aggregate those two numbers is 1.5% in 2018. And again, the net impact um, fixed value $300,000 home would be a decrease. Again, please anticipate that the average homeowner through those portions will see about a 1.5% increase. Uh, general fund are, is our major operations fund. Uh, makes up about 75% of the taxes uh, levied. It supports uh, uh, all of our operations departments, public works, uh, uh, um, yeah, various other administrative and, and customer support functions. Um, the revenues uh, within that fund are 70% uh, property taxes and uh, as indicated on the side, a variety of other uh, revenue streams, intergovernmental being some of the state shared revenues, um, which this year are expected to increase about 26% uh, in the general fund as more state aids are being shifted from the capital project fund uh, in 2018 to the general fund. Um, overall, those revenues uh, increased by about 5%, I believe is the number, but it's a, it's a shift between them that's causing a 26% increase. Not that the village is receiving that much more additional state aid. Uh, other revenues and other financing uh, sources are expected to increase by 130,976. The majority of that, again, is the village's effort to use prior year reserves as a method of stabilizing and managing the year-over-year uh, -year increase of costs for debt service needs uh, for the various infrastructure projects, again, previously completed over the last 10 to 15 years. Uh, on the expenditure side, uh, total expenditures in the general fund increased by 4.2%. Um, salaries increased by 2.1%. Uh, 84,000 of that is due to union contract changes within the police department. And then on top of that, uh, or aside from that, there was also a 1.5% general wage increase for non-union employees. Uh, fringe benefit costs this year has actually decreased slightly, 1.1%, and that's due to the fact that the village entered into an agreement uh, with a new health insurance provider as a, an alternative to the 9% proposed increase from our current um, carrier, and uh, you know, so we went with an alternative provider as a cost control measure as well as to uh, achieve, uh, again, I think it was 2.38% reduction in the rate compared to this year. However, there has been some benefit and enrollment changes between the various staff of the village, so the net impact of that is a 1.1% uh, decrease, not 2.38%. Uh, other government payments, again, increased 2.5% in aggregate. Uh, part of that is state aids, part of that is other, other general government payments and uh, other financing uses. Again, the flip side of the uh, budgeting uh, metric that uh, supports the use of uh, general fund reserves to support and stabilize the impact of increasing debt service costs here to year uh, for the 2018 budget. Next. Uh, again, um, a general <coughs> graph of our trend lines in the general fund for the last five years. Um, this year, the general fund expenditures did increase 4.2%. However, a significant portion of that was due to some budget reorganization, uh, moving a number of items out of the capital project funds into the general fund. Um, but nonetheless, uh, that's where the 2018 proposed budget increase with the general fund came in in, 20, uh, in this budget cycle. Next. Uh, one of the things that we feel is 
important to present to the public is a little different look at the, uh, the cost for services, not so much in a, uh, in a total, total dollars on your tax bill, but uh, if you were to look at the services that government provides uh, on a month-to-month -month basis, kind of uh, maybe like you would for uh, a utility bill or some other monthly bill, uh, you get to see the, the impact of your tax bill for receiving the services, some of the key services that uh, the village provides, police services, fire services, all of our public works, uh, uh, road maintenance and, and winter maintenance, snow removal, refuse and recycling collections, uh, debt service, um, our library, uh, 1476 for our library operations per month per, per household. Um, then our general government, mostly administrative, some capital projects that are financed by the tax levy, again, uh, uh, vehicle equipment for public works department, for the police department, various other one-time